hello traders welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to analyze the market how to predict next candlestick okay in a psychological way that is how to observe the candlestick so let's start you can see the pressure from buyers i'm going to place call option i place call option because of this pressure from buyers when we have a strong uptrend and this is a weak bearish candle so she expect the buyers entry on the next candle so that's why i place call option now we can see again pressure from sellers it means there are some strong sellers at this area you can see again the sellers entry so it means there are some strong sellers at this area okay Now we see the power of buyers, buyers forces. You can see the power of buyers, and again, you can see some rejection. Some rejection. The power of buyers. I'm going to place call option because the rejection is not strong. The rejection is not strong. Already we saw a strong rejection and some sellers entry, but later we see the buyers have came in very strong force. It means at this time they are strong. There are some strong buyers at that moment and the rejection from sellers for the sellers to enter is not strong so that means the buyers will enter again on the next candle now the buyers to the sellers to are pressurizing the buyers here you can see now the buyers are very strong you can see some rejection you can see rejection There's no enough buyers here, but I'm still good with buyers again. I'm going to place call option. Place call option because though there's no enough buyers, but I will still go with buyers because of this pressure from buyers and the bullish candle. The rejection is not that strong to go with sellers, and the trend is also uptrend. So that means the buyer will still form a bullish candle here. That's why I place call option. Now we see the pressure from sellers, you can see, and the pressure from buyers. It means it means the buyers and sellers are very active here. You can see the pressure from buyers. You can see now the pressure from sellers. You can see. You can see now the buyers came in very hard. It means there are some strong buyers at this time. The buyers came in. And there's no rejection okay we can see the rejection you can see rejection you can see rejection so i'm going to place call option because the the buyers are still more powerful than sellers so we see the rejection but you can't go with sellers immediately the buyers are still more powerful than sellers you can see the strong buyers you can see it means that the weakness of buyers here we show up on this level okay you can see the power of buyers you can see that means at this time the buyers are buying all their stops you can see the power of buyers now we see the pressure from sellers you can see the pressurize the sellers pressurize them still the buyer is still going up still the buyer is still going up can see the pressure can see the sellers enter the sellers show up the sellers show up okay I lost this trade because the sellers are want to enter and this is a strong rejection so i'm going to place put option place put option because instead of buyers I see I saw a strong rejection from sellers and the sellers show up on this level. So that means the sellers now is ready to enter the market. You can see the pressure from sellers. This is a sign that the sellers are now active in the market. You can see some pressure from buyers too. I love this trade because 
of wrong prediction and a rejection from sellers. Okay, you can see the pressure from sellers, from buyers too. You can see now the sellers are very strong. The sellers are very strong, but we still have some rejection. I'm going to place call option. I place call option though this count is very strong, but we still have some rejection and the previous buyers movement. So the previous buyers movement here we form a bullish candle. So that's why I place call option. Okay. So this rejection tells us that the buyers are active on this level. So the previous buyers movement we form a bullish candle here. Despite the buyers are very stronger than uh, strong, the sellers are very strong here, so we should expect the buyer's entry. So that's why I place call option. And this will be my last trip. Okay, you can see the pressure also from sellers. Okay, the sellers are also pressurizing the buyers. Still a weak candle. So I will stop trading for here because I'm seeing we can do this tells us that the market is getting bad okay so i took six trades one is otm because of the uh, wrong prediction okay the first trade i took here is because of this uptrend and pressure from buyers and the weak bearish candle so we should expect a buyer's entry so that's why this call option Second trade was because of this strong bias. After this candle, we see a strong bias, and the trend also is uptrend. So we should expect a bias entry. So that's why this call option. Third trade was because after this candle, we see, see that the buyers are still more present, are still more active than sellers here. Yeah, we also see some rejection, but the buyers are still more active than sellers. That's why this call option on the next candle. I lost the trade because of wrong analysis and again the market is not good here you can see until when the market reached this level the sellers entered as it means that the buyers was able to form a small bullish body i would have won this trade but immediately they quickly entered and touched the sellers area the sellers area here the sellers area and they quickly and, and the sellers entered immediately. So this is a sign that the sellers choose this level, choose this level and enter. But this body is still showing green, uh, red candle. That's why I still lost the trade. And I place put option because the sellers choose this area as as the level. The sellers choose this level to enter. You can see the pressure from sellers. Why the pressure from buyers is very small. So compared to the pressure from sellers and the bullish and the bearish body, it means the sellers are very active now. So that's why I place put option here on the next candle. And I place call option here because even though the pressure from sellers and a strong bearish candle, we can still go against this trend. It means that the power of buyers here we still form a bullish candle. So in this kind of situation, we should expect a buyer's entry. But what confirms our trade as to go with buyers is because of this rejection. If there's no rejection, we still go with sellers. But because of this rejection, it means we still go with buyers again on the next candle. Okay? This is how you can observe the market. You can observe the candlestick and analyze the market in the proper way. So right now, I took only six trades. One is OTM because of wrong prediction. And wrong analysis so I didn't know that the sellers with the buyers will touch the sellers level this is sellers level strong sellers level you can see so I don't know that the buyers will touch the sellers level before they reverse and that is what happened here so and here we saw the weak candle we saw the weak candle here this is a sign that the market is getting bad you can see this is my lock I want the trade because of my entry so in this kind of situation once you see weak candles you have to do away with it, stay away from weak candles, okay? This is how you can analyze the market and predict next candlestick. Okay, guys, if you like my video, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.